guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, we're going to be talking about Responder. This is video five. Again, all these videos are for educational purposes and just to learn some of the Kali tools that are associated with the operating system. So what we're going to be learning today is about Responder. It's another sniffing tool. So if you hear on the screen, and if we go to the next page, this is what we're going to learn in this, in this lecture about the Responder tool a little bit about what we can do with it. We can do LLMNR poisoning. So what is LLMNR? That's a tongue twister, at least for me. So it's Link Local Multicast Name Resolution. So pretty much what this is, it's a Windows component which acts as a host discovery method in Windows systems. So especially in an Active Directory, which I abbreviated for AD environments, we can see often used LLMNR. They're normally used in those environments, and you can disable it as well. So if we go back to the next slide, this is like a little example of what we can do with this, okay? We can see the victim on the top, right? And we'd send a, like a UNC pad, whack, whack, in this case, 10.0.2.15, goes to the server and there's no response, right? Because there's maybe there's no real share that resides on that. And then we have this section, this, this, the middle section, we have the victim going to the compromised system. And, and it says, do anyone know about, or it should be said, it should say, does anyone know about WAC WAC 10.0.2.15, any other machine to the other machine, as you see here. And in the victim machine, yep, I know, just sent you my hash. So the hash file is containing the credentials of that user, okay? And it's not readable in the human eye, and we'll see this shortly, but we're able to crack it with like John the Ripper, and we're gonna do that. And I wanna show you an example of that. So when you do like an internal pen test, you wanna see if there's, uh, if there's commonly used passwords on the network. When people like go to lunch, for an example, or in the beginning of the day, when you, when you boot up your responder to listen to any incoming connections, you can set up like a group policy object that's pointing to a UNC path, a network share. You know, there's a whole bunch of ways to do that, but this is gonna be a very simple overview about the tool and how you can sniff and utilize it, okay? And the last section here, we have here's my hash. So from the computer, which in this case is gonna be our Windows 10 machine, it's gonna send it to the compromise system, which is gonna be our Kali machine, okay? So let's jump onto that machine, all right? Shall we? All right. So let me uh, close that out. So we're going to jump onto the Kali machine here. Okay. Let's just make this full screen. So as we have here, we have my Kali machine here. Okay. So the first things first, we're going to go ahead and boot up Responder. Okay. So I want to put it, I want to log into my super user. So I want to, oops, so who am I? I'm root now, I'm not the Kali user. Okay, so now what we can do is hit responder, dash I for the interface, and ETH0 is my interface that are correlating the interface that I want to utilize, okay? And if you don't know that, you can do a quick if config to see what interface is associated with your network, okay? So now, this is listening for events. If we can come up, we can see the poisoners as LLMNR, MBS, uh, MBT stat, or MBT-NS, and DNS, and MDNS, right? And all these other services. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and go to our Windows 10 machine, okay? So first of all, I should do this really quick. Let me open up a new tab and do an if config. If you can see here, my IP address is 192.168.32.200. So this is going to be the interface. I could have probably saw that down here too, right here. So this is the NIC, ETH0, and this is the IP address, okay? So it's 200. So let's go, whoops, let's go back to our Windows 10. We'll do two kinds of attacks, right? We'll do an SMB, and then we'll do an HTTP. We'll pretend we're going to like an internal web server. So you can see both of them, and we'll do two different passwords, okay? So first we'll go out to, out to uh, File Explorer, okay?
Okay, so let's just go whack whack 192.168.32.200. Okay, now it's asking us to enter uh, a network credentials. So, for example, if we send this off on our network or if you're doing an internal pen test, you want to try to cache those uh, credentials or you want to capture that hash. I'll use like admin and then password one. And then it did, didn't show anything here, right? But if we go back to our Kali box, did I lose? Uh oh, I think I might have lost it. Oh no, here it is. I was like, oh man. So here we have it. We have the the uh, the the hash for admin right here. Okay. So what we're gonna do is one more. I wanna go ahead and go back out here. Let's go to a web server, okay? Let's, for example, let's just do 192.200, okay? Now we're trying to access like a, a website, right? So I'll put, for example, info, no, I'll do Patrick, and then let me do password one, two, three, okay? It didn't work, but let's go back to our Kali box, and then we have Patrick as well, okay? So we could do a control C here, okay? Now we have those in our local, so if we do an LS, whoops, LS, we can go to a, the directory where these are host, where these are housed. So we can do ETH0, ETH share, share, there's easy it's there. But user, oh my god, user share. Uh, and then we're gonna do responder logs. Sorry, I, I just drew a blank. Alright, so if we do an ls-la, we can see that these files are here. Today is the 26th of July, I believe. Is it? Let me see. Yeah. So we can see this HT, HTTP and then SMB. <clears throat> okay, so what we can do is hit John, which is for John the Ripper, and then we're going to do SMB. Okay, and now that cracked that password. You see, admin is the user, and password one is the password. So we can take that and use that for further investigations and try to do like pass the hash and do, do a whole bunch of other things and try to compromise credentials and stuff like that. But now, what about, let's control C that, and let's get the HTTP one. So let's do John HTTP, and let's see if we can crack that one. I believe it was password 123, I believe I put, I think. I don't remember, I don't remember now. That's, uh, that's interesting. Let me go back and do that again. Let's do this really quick. So actually, I forgot I forgot the password, not, and it may be not in that list. So let's just do this really quick one more time. All right, so let's do this one more time. Okay. I got too many things open. Let me exit this so I can just have one. Okay. Okay. So now this one's listening. Let's go back to our Kali. I mean our uh, our system here, and we're gonna do HTTP again. All right. Let me cancel out of here. Interesting. Let's see if it's working. So it's trying to do the Patrick one. So let's see if this, what I want to do, what I want to do really quick is to remove HTTP. I want to go ahead and just remove that and let's generate that again. Okay. Okay, let's try this one more time, see if we can get this to work. All right, let's just do something here.
what I want to do is remove that one more time because it probably regenerated it. Let's do RM. All right, I want to RM the S. Okay, so let's do this one more time. Let me try to do something here. Let me just log out. I'm going to log out and log back in. Okay, so it's still listening, right? Let me see. Still, nope, it's not listening. So let's see, let me log into when and log into this. It's probably going to cache some stuff that. It's probably going to cache that as well. But let's see. Now let's try this one more time. Let's do, I don't want to restore that. Let's just do 192. All right, so now I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to do admin and then password one. Okay, and then it, now it can, okay, now it has that. All right, so let's cancel that. And now we have a whole bunch of things that are answering. This is like, don't worry about here. So now we're gonna do that same thing for admin. Let's go back here, let's do ls. So we have the HTTP now, right? So now let's do John again. And now we have admin. There we go. Okay, sorry about that little. And this is, this is what happens, right? That's why I don't wanna edit this. I wanna do it all on the fly. You guys can see if you guys have any issues, how you can resolve it. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much how you use Responder. That's how you use a little bit of John. And yeah, so like now if you can just do like, for example, John dash dash show, you can see all the passwords that are cracked. It says three passwords hashed cracked, zero left. So it shows all the, all the accounts that were, uh, that were utilized, right? So yeah, so that's pretty much concludes the video. So if you want, please like, subscribe, share. Until next time, we're going to be getting into the next section shortly. So just be prepared for those videos and hopefully you're enjoying it. Thank you so much. Have a good one, guys.